Well, hello again, everyone. My name is Kronos006, back with more Zero Time Dilemma for you. So last time, we found one of the actual true endings. Now, it's not the true ending, but it is one of the main ones. This one right here. One of D-Team's main ends. Now, if I remember correctly, we can't do anything more with D-Team right now. Is that correct? Correct. We got a couple more memories here that are not unlocked, and we probably got some locks at the end of some of these. So, we have the choice. I really like how they have different, like, styles of flowcharts in this one. It is helpful. Uh, we have the choice of going to either C or Q team, and I kind of want to know more about Q team right now. Or C team, sorry. Q team is a little weird. So why don't we just do that? Let's see what we got. This looks like they're arguing and doing something interesting, so let's go here. Jump. Monty Hall. Monty Hall. Damn it. I figured brute force wouldn't work. So this is Control. The air, water, and electricity for the shelter are all managed here. This is probably where transmissions to the outside world happen. Uh, but... It's disconnected. Of course it is. Oh, I guess we can't order a bunch of pizza then, huh? There are a lot of monitors here. I think this might let us review the footage from the security cameras. Huh? There are security cameras in this place? Carlos, it's 2028. I'd be more surprised if there aren't cameras hidden everywhere. That's a good point. Uh, she's right. The ones I used for work were about the size of a woman's nipple. Well, I, now, I guess Did so. you know that? <laughs> a carbon dioxide extinguisher. <laughs> You're definitely a firefighter. Your eye spots different things than us. Occupational hazard. Whenever I go somewhere new, I end up checking the extinguishers first thing. I see. And because you do that all the time, you're able to save so many lives. It's really nothing. Uh oh, Junpei gonna get jealous. About? You dive into danger without <laughs> thinking twice about your own safety. You do it like it's nothing. I think that's pretty amazing. You know, I... <laughs> it's all that. What are you trying to say? Well, Carlos was just doing what he was trained to do. Isn't that right? Yeah, it's like you said. Ugh. I'm sorry, Carlos. He's acting out now, but... Junpei used to rush to the rescue a lot when we were younger. He certainly did. <laughs> sorry, but I am done with playing the action hero. No, but you're why? not. Because I grew up. You just sound even more childish to me. Uh, it's January 1st. Worst way to start the year off. Didn't we already have that time uh, with these guys? I've never not been able to say Happy New Year to Maria before. Maria? My little sister. Well, uh, take comfort knowing she's alive, at least. How do we know that? Don't forget what Zero said. <clears throat> Very few of you will find yourselves able to welcome a new 2029. Anyway, let's just figure a way out of this room. Got it. Yeah, if we don't get our butts in gear, it might be 2030 before we even get out. You have no idea. <sighs> All right, let's take a look at what we got. Look, is the center of the stand pointing in a direction? Cool, I guess. The music in this game is kind of like 
slightly remixed versions from the previous games. You know, and I kind of like that. It keeps it different, keeps it interesting, and it makes it feel a little bit more modern. All right, so I can't seem to do much with the stands at the moment. Hmm. Nine, two, thirteen. Okay. Saw another one of those right there. What's this card? Three, ten, seven. Okay. Yeah, so I should probably write this down. Okay, so there's going to be more of the cards, clearly. Okay. Painful shock. I've noticed in looking at some of the recordings that for some reason the pointer doesn't show up when I record. So. I know a lot of people don't like the pointer to be there, but I kind of use it. Like right now, I'm actually shaking it pretty vigorously over the electrical symbol here. Like sometimes I'll point out something, so a little irritating, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys, if you prefer the pointer to be there or not, because I typically do let the pointer stay if there's an in-game one. I try to eliminate like a, an additional one from Windows, so. Oh, I see it. That sign indicates high voltage. Yeah, <laughs> you're probably afraid of thunder too, aren't you? I had a bad, bad time with static sh uh, electricity in the winter in the past. I used to hate it so much. So I kind of developed a little bit of a phobia every time I would touch a metal door handle. Couldn't be this simple, could it? Obviously not. Is there a right way to do this? Must be. What have we got here? Oh, are those the specimens? Is that a camera from the bio lab? Yeah, it must be. Is this some kind of shutter? Hmm. That looks important as well. This is going to be a rough drawing for sure, though. The monitor view can zoom in and out. Oh, we know where that is. I think that's the locker room. S and W on a door? I don't think that's what it's saying. The large monitor here is showing some kind of crane. Oh, I suck at those. I can never make this work. <laughs> Ding dong. Oops. Surprise, surprise. I lose. Gotta be a system for it. What is this? Oh, that's where I used the hint I just got. Yep, we've seen that before. You, on the other hand, would probably never make a mistake like that. Alright, so let's turn 
there. Turn you that way. I think that's it. No, I must be slightly off. Ah, okay. Need to look at the picture again. No. Okay, so that's more of an angle. That's also less of an angle. This is more steep. That's pretty steep. This is flat. Okay. There we go. Just a minor adjustment. So the monitor was the hint for this after all. Small battery. Maybe it attaches to something. And this is... Another one of those cards. Ooh. That's a battery? Looks like a razor blade. Ah, that is a battery. Okay. Okay, the next card. We're still missing four. Right here. Oh, sorry. In the lower left corner. Okay. Touching a button will turn the light on and off. <laughs> he really was changed by the events of the first game, wasn't he? She doesn't seem to be that much. Maybe a little. Yay! What did that do? I don't believe I have any clues to do with that yet. It must be for measuring radiation levels. No idea. I've never seen it before. Why don't we try pushing some buttons? Didn't pay attention to this. I think this poster can come up. Oh, sunglasses. Hello. Now we can be all cool-like, and Cory Hart-like, and wear our sunglasses at night. <laughs> Love the, um, John Lennon-style sunglasses here. Uh-huh, I can combine those. <laughs> you know, that movie. <laughs> Oh, classic. Can't even say it. <laughs> I guess that is an old movie now. God, I'm old. Cha-ching! Oh, am I missing the other one? Ah, I can adjust modes. Ah, I need a password. God damn it. There we go. Now we're talking. Let's see here. I wish I could show you guys my notes and just how awful my handwriting is, but you don't get to see it just yet. <laughs> I know Google Glasses or Google Glass or whatever was supposed to be that kind of thing, but. I look forward to when we have, like, alternate reality sort of glasses like that. Altered reality? Not alternate reality. Sorry. Alright, so we should be able to figure out this one now. Ah, even though they're trying to trick me by moving things around. It will not work. Let's see, take these all out. Nope, I guess I can't do that. One goes to one, that's correct. 
No, it doesn't. I can't read my own drawing. One goes to four. Two goes to three. Five goes to one. And three goes to two. Yes. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Let me look at this again. Put this in B mode. Whoa! Why are you showing me the healing room? Seriously, why are you showing me this? We've already been through this. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I probably am. I'm probably looking at it incorrectly. Let's see. Yeah, I should probably ignore the numbers that I'm seeing here. Just go with the drawing. Let's just try it with the way it is, because the numbers are different here versus over there. My pen overlapped. I literally can't tell where I'm supposed to go. And somehow I'm gloriously messing this up. Okay, no mistakes this time. Alright, th this time I'm taking a freaking picture. Like, I'm tired of this. I think my drawing is just so messed up that I must have just made a stupid error. Okay, so I'm going to try once again reading the numbers. Not trusting the picture, because these numbers are in different places. So, let's try this one more time. Okay, I'm going to start from the top. According to this, 4 should be connected to the Roman numeral 5, which it is. Okay. Okay, next. The 1 should be connected to the Roman numeral 2. And it is. Okay, next step, two should be connected to the three, which it is not. Okay, next up, five should be connected to the Roman numeral one, which it is not. All right, and then lastly but not leastly, three should be connected to the Roman numeral four. I swear I did that before, but apparently I didn't. I must have made a stupid error, thanks to my handwriting. All right, all's well that ends well. That is not cheating, taking a picture. It is not. Do not consider it cheating. Seems so. Door on the top left monitor is open now. Ah, and these are our hints for the little stand things. Said the blue was north, pink should be southwest. Oop, that was it. Southwest, red should be southeast. I say this every time, guys, but if you're at all enjoying watching this and you haven't actually tried to do an escape room game kind of thing yet with your friends or family, do it. It's so fun. You'll you'll love it. It's it's like an adventure game in real life. It is like at least in the U.S. the epidemic. It's an epidemic. Like these escape rooms are now freaking everywhere, which is cool. There's like three different businesses in my city alone, so you can find them. They're around. Okay. Aha! That did it. Black stand came out of the floor. 
And now I have the answer to those lights. This is a pretty straightforward room. Nothing too hard about this. He says after he couldn't figure out their very easy puzzle earlier. A lot of drawing and note taking though. I've always been good at taking notes. Learn from my dad. Sometime I'm gonna do a vlog where I just pour over all my dad's old notes for video games, guys. I think you would enjoy that, because I know I would. Most of them are for the old, like, Infocom and Sierra games, so definitely worth checking out. Hopefully I'll be able to do that this year sometime. I think that'd be fun. Alright, where'd that puzzle go? <laughs> Looks like one of those old printer cables. Seriously, where? Oh, there it is. All right, so you should be off. <laughs> Time to bash some buttons. <laughs> you should be off. You should be off. You and you. There we go. Easy. I just used my gut and started pushing buttons. Yeah, it certainly did, didn't it? Hey, I figured that out. I wasn't just given the answer. Come on. Well, I technically was given the answer, but you know what I mean. Okay, so we got the last card. Plus we can combine... this on that. Man, this thing is set up now. Look at that. Wouldn't you love a pair of those? Okay, so that's obviously a hint of some kind. But I don't know what it means at the mo. But at least I got this. Alright, so I have all the numbers in the spots now. Must be different rules for that one or something. I don't even think I saw this before. I don't think so, Akane. I'm guessing I still can't access C mode without a password. No. Okay. Alright, what is left to do in here? <gasps> oh, okay. I think this is telling me what to do here. Yep, that's what it is. Okay. So let's write that down. Yeah, yeah, come on. I'm glad it gave the graphic representation. Again, another change, I think, from the original game. I'm not sure if that was there. As far as the free all that stuff. But let's see. Anybody who played the DS version, because, God, it's been since 2012 when it came out that I played it. These are the dumbest notes ever. Vri. Znur. Were. And Znur. <laughs> I love it if people just randomly found this and they're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Alright, so let's figure out which is which. That's were. Okay, so I know were is left. I believe Znur is down. Right must be Vri. Yep.
Ding dong. Ha ha. Ding dong, bing bong. Aha. Ah, so here's our password. Okay. Okay. Let's change my notes yet again. Easily done. Again, you just gotta take good notes. This might be one of the easiest rooms I've ever seen in any of these games. Like, it's all note-taking. As long as you take decent notes, you are got it. I'm pretty sure this is the music from the security room. From, uh, Virtue's Last Reward. Alright, so. Let's see. Is that it? This password's kind of funky. I don't know if I got this right, but I guess I must have. So let's see. Be tested by... Bye. Nope. I did something wrong. I did. I missed a number. By fire. Appropriate enough, given Carlos's presence. As we thought, the 14 letters were the password. Oh, the video started playing. Hello, zero. Hey, hey, none of that. Family game. Okay, so now I actually have to take notes. Sorry, I got a pen in my mouth. Alright. Let's do that again. About the only thing that I don't care that much for when it comes to the escape rooms is that they try to make sure that everybody has a good time. You usually only get an hour uh, to get out of the room, so to speak. And if you take too long, there's almost inevitably like a little computer or a video or something that will pop up a hint. And it's kind of insulting how if you still can't figure it out after the hint, they just sort of give you the answer. <laughs> now, maybe I'm just gone to easy ones, but eventually, like they won't give you the final answer, but they will just keep giving you hints and hints and hints and because they want you to win because they want you to have a good time. So that's about the only downside. I'm sure there are probably some places where you go where they're like, you can specifically request, hey, no hints. Like, I haven't tried that, but... Because... And, and you also want to make sure you do it with a bunch of people. You got to have at least two to have any kind of fun at all. But it's best if you do it with a group of, like, ten people. Especially people you don't know. Because the first one I ever did was like that. I was with a couple of my friends. We were in Nashville, Tennessee, of all places. And we went to this thing, and there were three of us... But there were another group of four people, and it's like, you have to suss out, you have to learn how to get along with these people that you've never met before. It's very much like this. I think that's why I like it so much. It's like, these people, you don't know each other, you don't know your strengths, you don't know your weaknesses. But the coolest thing about it was that every single person in that group contributed something. There wasn't a single person who, like, did everything. There wasn't a single person who did nothing. You know, we all worked together. So it was such a rewarding experience when we got out with like five minutes to spare. So that's cool. Anyway. Northeast. Black should be set. No, it's Northwest. And there we go. Pretty easy. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa! I don't think we were supposed to plug that in. Actually, we were. Tested by fire. Son of a bitch. Oh. Not much of a test. Oh, the 
hair is out. Oh, ooh. oh damn. Whew. That was close. I <sighs> guess that extinguisher up there helped, huh? Yeah, I think so. But that's bringing its own problems. Yep. Huh? Uh, it doesn't look like it stopped. Too much CO2. At this rate, we'll. <laughs> Percentage of carbon dioxide in the air is roughly uh, 0.04. IDLH level kicks in around 5%. IDLH? IDLH? The highest concentration level you can uh, continue to safely inhale. Ah. You lose consciousness shortly after it hits 7%. And after that. Death. Now commencing the decision game. Of course. A decision game? Ten lockers are beside the door. Within one of them, there is an oxygen mask. So we're playing the odds again, Which is that right? Will you open? Damn. That zero. <sighs> we need to pick one quickly. But which number is correct? Please choose, Carlos. The probability is 1 in 10. No hints. We'll have to go with our gut. Well, those are much better odds than the dice. Again, it doesn't seem like I can just wait. Well, what do you guys think? <laughs> Write your comment below about what I should pick. <laughs> Despite the fact that I've already recorded it. My lucky number's always been nine. Let's try it. Is that your final decision? Final choice, Regis. Wha what? Freaking deal or no deal. It's deal or no deal. 20 minutes. There's no way it will last 20 minutes. <laughs> what? What's wrong, Junpei? Oh man, that's awesome luck for us. Our chances went from 1 in 10 to 50-50. That's not it, Junpei. The, the probability is it's actually... Yeah, that's that's not right, Junpei. <laughs> hey, Akane. Akane, are you okay? Damn, this isn't good. We need to get that mask fast. Which is it? Which one will it be in? Man, if only I had a bald germaphobe to help me. The Monty Hall problem. You know... I'm gonna stick with my answer. One case. This is a big one. Number nine. Melinda, open the case. It's 
no use. There's no way. That locker will open. Why? It's just how the pieces fall. Looks like we're out of luck. Akane. If only I could have heard your voice one last time. But it seems like... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Forgive me. Sorry. I couldn't save you. Wait, does that mean that I was just totally wrong? Because the, the only locker still closed was six. Wait a minute, why are we over here now? Um, are you sure? You're taking the word of that announcer earlier? What are we doing here? It's completely rubbish. All of it. Then everyone's alive? Of course. We need to go get help. All right. Let's go. That's interesting. Okay. Well, given what we learned with the dice, I'm tempted to try that again. No. Was this it? Yes. Okay, so that kind of makes sense as to why it's sort of in the right timeline there. I get that. Let's try that again then. Oh, that's <laughs> you. Damn, but the okay, so lucky number nine didn't work. How about lucky number three? Lisa, open the case. Is that your final decision? What? What? I know which locker contains the oxygen mask. If there is a mask in the locker you chose, eight of the remaining nine lockers will randomly open. If the mask is not within the locker you chose, eight lockers. This is the Monty Hall problem. The okay, so trusting my instincts last time didn't work. Aha! Now it's nine. Let's go with nine. Melinda, open the case. 